Assalamu alaikum students this is the continuation of our previous lecture which was about selecting a suitable fabric for curtains in this lecture we will discuss about some basic curtain styles according to final design look or you can say stitching style in previous lecture we have discussed about the selection of curtain fabrics in which we also talk about the factors which affect the final selection of the fabric for curtains these factors were like budget final look of your curtain availability of suitable design or required design in the market also privacy needed and finally the care and maintenance of the fabric all these factors can influence your choices dear students before going into design detail you should know about some basic curtain terminology these terms including valance swag or scarf cornice what is the difference between curtain and drape these both are different things one by one we will see what are these terms students i am sure you have seen all these things here we are only doing this that we are attaching some specific names to your pictorial memory the first term is valance or palmet these both are the same things a valance is a type of window treatment that is present on the top most part of the window sometimes it is paired with curtains while it can be alone other than coordinated curtains people used valances to give the formal look to their window treatment or these are also used to cover the or to hide the curtain hangings hardware a simple valance is a most basic and casual window treatment normally a valance is made up of a piece of fabric attached to the rod with clips some valances are with very simple designs while the other have soft gathers folds pleats or some other decorative elements on it i am sure by looking at the picture you will be clear about valance or palmet the picture which is in gray color it is showing valance of printed fabric with a simple design it is hanging alone over a window top and fabric is stitched in extra length to produce gathers while hanging it has installed rings at the top to put the rod inside it it is hanging separately without the use of other curtains these type of palmet or valances are used where privacy is not much needed as over the top of kitchen curtains or kitchen windows in the other picture a woman is hanging a valance with coordinated curtains valance or palmet is a fabric hanging freely on the top of the window it don't have any hard thing at the back of it it's purely made up of fabric when in certain rooms a more formal and traditional look is required then a pleated valance is used and these pleats can be of customized style like you can use box board pleats or very simple pleats box board pleated valance is used in traditional old style english bedrooms in bedrooms the valances can be matched or coordinated with a bedding color and pattern to create a more formal appearance but due to the factor of privacy needed it can be used with a other coordinated curtains in the picture you are looking at the box pleat valances which are installed over the window top with the use of steel rings and rod valances or palmets without coordinated curtains are used on the window where the outer landscape is beautiful or privacy is not needed 
curtain scarves or swags these both are same things scarf has a similarity to a valance that it is also a hang over the uppermost part of the window but the difference with valance or palmet is that it hang loosely and drape over the uppermost part by offering a decorative look sometimes scarf or swag is arranged in a decorative style over a rod it hangs freely over the rod but it is attached to only from two corners so that the fabric may not slip from the rod these scarves or swags may use with a panel curtains in order to give a more formal and sophisticated look there are variety of hanging style or for hanging swags to windows selection of fabric for swag or scarf depends upon the final look of the design or curtain style swag or scarves are clearly visible in the pictures these are generally considered as additional part of the curtain as i have told you there are different methods to hang scarves over the window but the most common is a simple scarf in which the scarf drape maximum from the center and going to taper at ends it is attached to the two top corners and from both vertical sides it hangs softly downwards on each side of the window which you have seen in the previous gray picture as you have seen that swag or scarf is unable to provide the privacy needed it's a additional decorative element over the window treatment so uh, swag and scarves are always used with the coordinated curtains these swags or scarves are also look wonderful to drape at the sides of a canopy beds in the picture you are looking the simple scarves which has a fullest part in the center at the two sides it is attached from the corners and the remaining fabric hang free or softly at two vertical sides of the window what is cornice and what is the difference between cornice and palmet let's find out Cornice is a wooden box like structure which is made up of plywood and then covered with fabric paint wallpaper or any other customized material and are mounted on the wall above the window Cornice can be made up of carved wooden design or it may be made up of simply polished wood and it is not necessary to cover it with paint wallpaper or a fabric normally a cornice is used to give a formal look of the curtains cornices are used in our interior and are very common in window treatments in the picture you are looking the types of cornice in the first picture at left the cornice is covered with a fabric or maybe a wallpaper offering a formal look of the curtain and in the second picture it is padded with a fabric and later the studs are applied on it as a embellishment material in both pictures the cornices are used with the coordinated curtains students here you should clearly know the difference between palmet and a cornice as i have told you palmet is made up of fabric alone it don't have any underneath wood or any other hard material it's purely made up of fabric which hang freely over the window top and when you use wooden box maybe of plywood and fabric is attached on the top means it is a fixed fabric it is called a cornice both cornice and palmets can have a same look but 
these both are different in its installment now we will discuss about some basic types of curtains the panel curtains are the most common and the familiar one they simply hang over a rod against the window and their length depends upon the requirement of the customer windows can be dressed with a single panel curtain or maybe two panel curtains are used on both sides of the window panel curtains are the very economic style they can be easily stitched at home and variety of fabrics are available which are suitable to make panel curtain bold sheer thick printed plain any type of fabric is suitable for panel curtains now we will find out that what is the difference between drapes and curtains drapes and curtains may be sound or sometimes look same but these both are different things actually drapes or draperies are also made from heavier materials then sheer fabrics or see through fabrics because sheer and see through fabrics are in lighter weight heavier fabric is used for the purpose that it hangs freely with with its own weight as compared to weightless fabrics as compared to drapes curtains are usually made from less expensive materials they do not provide complete privacy light control or insulation unless they are made from heavier fabrics like velvet if curtains are stitched in single panels without lining then it will not provide the light control or insulation if lightweight fabrics used for curtains then they are almost see through due to crossing of sunlight the amount of light or air control by the curtain depends upon the type of fabric used for curtains if curtains are made from lighter fabrics then linings can be used to control the light and to add layers and dimension to window now we will talk about the most common stitching styles of the curtains or drapes these styles are more or less suitable for both curtains and drapes the selection of style and design of curtain or drape depends upon the different factors like privacy required your budget aesthetic and appearance available fabric choices like color and pattern in the market the first most common style of curtain is pinch pleat style this style you have must seen in your homes in this style three pleats are stitched on a single point rings may be attached on the top of the curtain for installing the curtain in a rod this style is usually suitable for both heavier fabrics as well as for sheer fabrics while selecting a pinch pleat style there is also a option that curtain or drape will attach with a hooks on a wooden or metal railings having channel for hooks this style with wooden railings are very much popular 8 to 10 years back but this pinch pleat style is very popular in modern interiors in which the metal or wooden railings are replaced by the steel rings and rod the second style of curtains is the gathered curtains gathered curtain styles are used to add fuller look to the window if there are no gathers in the curtain then it would be completely flat fall across the window gathered curtains may be stitched in single panel or maybe two or three panels it depends upon the type of the requirement to achieve the proper gathered effect or the gathered look the curtain needs to be wider than the drape 
the extra fabric is then graded up using the strings in the tape stitched to the top of the curtain to achieve the gathered effect curtain tape is easily available in the market at cheaper prices the tape has thread or dories in two or three rows and the gathered effect is achieved by stretching these dories or threads when these are stretched the gathered effect is achieved the amount of gather depends upon the personal preferences but as a general market rule the width of curtain should amount to be double the width of track this is also termed as two time gathers in the picture you are watching a gather curtain having steel rings or at the top which is then added into a steel ring in the picture at the right side you are watching a curtain tape having threads or dories which after stretching results in gather effect by using this curtain tape very even form of gathers are achieved this curtain tape is stitched at the top of the curtain these are pencil pleat curtains in this style very fine and thin pleats are formed again by using the curtain tape available in the market usually 3 inches curtain tape is used which is suitable to all type of tracks and poles for curtains eyelet curtains eyelet curtains are very easy to stitch and hang these are very simple to install and requires a little maintenance in this style steel rings are attached on the top of the curtain which are later added to the curtain poles the steel rod of curtain is called the curtain poles the steel rings which look like eyelets are available in variety of diameters which can be purchased in coordination for the diameter of the poles to adjust easily in poles eyelet rings and curtain poles for this style are easily available in market in many colors at cheaper prices in this picture you are looking at the eyelet curtains eyelets are attached on the top of the curtain and curtain is hang by adding the eyelets in the curtain pole tap top curtains tap top curtain is also a contemporary style which you must be familiar with This is also easy to stitch and easy to maintain. This style is also suitable for all types of fabric ranging from the lighter weight to the heavy one. In this style fabric tabs are attached on the top of the curtain and to hang the curtain these tabs are added in the poles. These tabs can be made with the same fabric or it can be stitched in the mix mat match pattern or opposite color of the fabric to add the style and decorative look of the curtain this style is little formal in appearance as compared to the eyelet curtains there is also many stitching style for tabs present at the top of curtain sometimes buttons are attached on the tab for adding style sometimes bows of fabric are attached on the tabs in the picture you are looking at the tap top curtains i hope you are very much familiar with the style in this style same color fabric is used for the tab which are stitched on the top of the curtain later these tabs are added in the curtain pole to hang the curtain goblet curtains goblet is a formal handmade heading style of the curtain like in pinch pleat style where the fabric extra fabric is needed to form pleats goblet headings also require more fabric 
goblet teats are stitched by hand and they are fixed permanently to create a tailored and formal look as the goblet pleats are fixed so it is important to choose proper crack or pole width when selecting this style the size and spacing of the goblet pleats will vary this depends upon the personal preferences in the picture you are looking at the goblet curtains these goblets are stitched by hand later the rings are attached on the top of the goblets which later added into the curtain poles instead of using these steel rings you can also use the hooks at the back if you are using the hooks then you are required the wooden railing instead of these steel poles and wooden railings have stoppers in which the hooks are fixed with this we are end up with a lecture in this lecture we have discussed the different parts of curtain and few very common styles of curtain